Hey, Pokemon Masters, Berkey Patobi here. Oh, I know, right? Poor Pidgeot. Say, what are you doing out here? I'm out here looking for my room key. That should be me. Ah, uh, yes, number 301. No one appears to be home to serve me, although that's not surprising given where we are. Damn, I could go on for ages. <laughs> Listen to me chit chat. This is no place for that. Let's get out of the darkness of the lobby. Pokemon Masters, you know I am a Pokemon researcher, and you should also know that I am particularly interested in the supernatural claims about the Pokemon world. For example, who is the ghost girl from within Phoebe's room of the Elite Four? What was the deal with that Spiritomb from C. Marvel, and did Lavender Town Syndrome actually ever happen? Of course, today I am researching some supernatural claims from deep within the Eterna Forest. Eterna, derived from the word eternal, which is a great word to describe this place. I am talking, of course, about the abandoned old chateau. Oh, Stantler, you too? It's a shame with the holidays coming up, there'll be one less Stantler running around. Although I can't say I'm surprised, this house was once owned by some very rich people. Not anymore though, however, and no one really knows why. No one knows why this mansion was abandoned. But then that's why we're here, to investigate. And I'm glad you're here with me because the noise is like, whoa! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Perhaps you'd feel more comfortable if you were better informed. Let me tell you everything we know about this mansion so far. Now to the public eye, this used to be a luxurious mansion that was abandoned for an unknown reason, but it also used to be the home of the original recipe for the old gatto, a consumable sought after all over the Pokemon world. Of course, now it's just the home to ghost-type Pokemon. Ghastly, Haunter, and Rotom. Oh, you don't know about Rotom? Rotom is an electric and ghost-type Pokemon that is made primarily of plasma. I've done a lot of research on Rotom before, and some say it's a legendary Pokemon, and others say it's the ancestor to all shop it. <laughs> some people in Alola even claim to use this Pokemon in their Pokedex. This is because Rotom can get inside the motors within machinery. Fans, lawnmowers, fridges, you name it. And while normally it's quite a playful Pokemon, a harmless prankster really, the evidence of this place suggests otherwise. There are ghosts within these halls and we know that, not just the ghosts of Ghastly, Haunter and Rotom, but there are rumors of human ghosts, departed spirits from beyond. An old man, a butler of this house perhaps, and a little girl are reported widely to have been seen within these halls, haunting them. The most common reason that spirits in folklore tend to remain bound to the earth is if they have some unfinished business. Of course, I have seen no such ghosts during my stay here. Although, something peculiar did happen in the library earlier. This old notebook fell on my head, seemingly out of nowhere. The text is worn and faded, you can't read it, although there was one passage I could make out. It said, something so peculiar should make off with the motor. What do you suppose that means? I guess it could be referring to Rotom- Oh, I've just realized! You're gonna love this. I have another old notebook that I found in the Sinnoh region. In fact, it's the only other one. And I believe that if you combine the two, perhaps, its text also refers to Rotom. Take a look. I found it in the nearby Team Galactic headquarters found in Eterna City, and the text inside, as well as the design and name of the notebook itself, is the same with the one found in the library. Of course, that begs the question, what would Team Galactic want with this dusty old notebook? Well, it's possible they came here looking for Rotom. After all, there is a well-documented member of their team, Sharon, who appears to be somewhat obsessed with Rotom. He has a mysterious notebook himself, very clearly written by him and his research on Rotom, but amongst his notes was this old notebook, which clearly wasn't written by him, and has some clues about not only Rotom, but also what happened here in the old chateau. It's a story about a person and their toy robot that turns out to be being possessed by Rotom. The two become the best of friends, inseparable in fact, apart from one little problem in their relationship, which is... They can't hug or touch because of the electricity that Rotom produces. It would simply be too deadly for the human trainer. However, there is a bit of an accident one day. The human trainer startles Rotom and Rotom flees 
but not before discharging a lot of its electrical power, leaving our author unconscious. When the author awakens, they go looking for Rotom, just to let them know that they forgive Rotom, and eventually they do find each other again. They make up, they hug, and they remain friends for the rest of their lives. It's sweet, isn't it? But there's a problem here, Pokemon Masters. Have you worked it out? Just a moment ago, it was talking about how they hugged when they reunited, but a few paragraphs earlier, it was talking about how they couldn't possibly do that. They couldn't touch each other because of Rotom's devastating electricity. Now, it comes to mind that the writer must have been a child, because who else but a child would own a toy robot? And there is the ghost of a child walking around these very halls, a young girl who's been seen here frequently. She seems to be stuck in the old chateau with some unfinished business, and that paints a very different picture if she's the writer. Because if she is, it means that Rotom was her friend, and when she startled him, he accidentally electrocuted her, killing her. Like I said earlier, Pokemon Masters, one of the main reasons in folklore that spirits remain attached to the Earth is that they feel they have unfinished business here. The little girl had a lot of unfinished business. She needed to find her friend Rotom and tell him that he wasn't to blame for her passing out. Of course, as we know from her perspective, she would have just blacked out and woken up, but it seems more than likely that in fact that's when she died and wrote the rest of the notebook from beyond the grave. Another good indicator is that that is what happened, is that her toy robot was found in the trash heap of her nearby town. Why was it there instead of just in her bedroom waiting for her? Well, maybe it's because her parents threw it out, because with the toy, they were abandoning it, much like the old chateau. Luckily, the story ends with the two of them reuniting, the little girl and Rotom, best friends back together, and finally, now that they're both ghosts, they can hug. It's the only way that comment makes sense. The story ends with them saying that they'll spend the rest of their lives together. Dot, dot, dot. Seriously, that's how it ends. It ends with a dot, 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 a to be continued. Uh, this isn't the end. Uh, there was something left unsaid about that last comment. The rest of their lives together. <laughs> sure thing. Then again, I suppose you and I, we have all of eternity to think about that. Pokemon Masters. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video for your birthday for Tony. That makes you a Pokemon Master.